Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at www.audibletrial.com slash charitystrike. Over 100,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Welcome, everybody, into... Oh, what was the show called? Oh, yes, the Charity Strike. Uh, it's the best slash worst sports show ever. And to make things even worse or better, depends on who you ask. We got San Diego Johnny with us. What's up, all you ball lickers and ass munchers? Hey, stop talking to me like that. Oh, well, so, fuck off, man. Yeah, so rude. Anyways, got the angry as always San Diego Johnny on. We apologize for any audio issues. Skype's being a motherfucker today. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, get a little business out of the way real quick. Make sure you guys, if you're going to shop at Amazon, you go to the Charity Strike website first, thecharitystrike.com. Click on the Amazon banner and do all your shopping. Helps uh, keep this little uh, raft afloat in the sea of shit. Is that, is that a good analogy? Pretty much. Yeah. Also, uh, check out my friend, Jenny Ovadia, Jenny Ovadia Photography at sourstudios.com. Make sure you check out our buddies, Adam and Reggie of The Adam and Reggie Show. The Adam and Reggie Show.com. They have funny stuff. It's a little podcast. Not as cool as ours because no one's that cool. But, uh, you know, they get the job done. Also, we are on Our City Radio. You can get us on OurCityRadio.com Wednesdays, Saturdays. If you haven't figured it out, that's the day after we broadcast our, our regular times. And finally, you can get us on the Stitcher Radio app uh, on demand, all of our episodes, all that good stuff. Whew, business taken care of. What's happening, San Diego Johnny? That much. I love how uh, you go through all that bullshit, yeah. and even though no one's listening. Mm -hmm. So it's awesome. That you just tell people to, where to listen to, but no right. one's listening, so they don't really know where to listen to. For, for the one, <laughs> one or two people that may listen from time to time, I right. figure uh, if, if I sound professional, then they'll think we're professional. That's true. Uh, it hasn't worked yet. Well. Still waiting. One of these days. One of these days, it'll happen. Yes, yes. So, Just like losing your virginity, it'll happen. It, I'm hoping so. Hopefully before I'm 40. <laughs> yeah. One of these days. So all the girls I date, they always tell me they don't want to take my virginity because they feel bad. I, think I know. I think there's another reason they're just not telling me. I don't uh, know what it uh, is, though. Probably because you're smelly and uh, quite possibly gay. Well, yeah. uh, that's true. I'm going to Chick-fil-A later today. Oh. Yeah. Get some chicken and some kissing going. Wow. That's, that's a full day right there. <laughs> yeah, that's not gay, right? No. All right. Perfect. Take Sean. Taking Sean with you. <laughs> yes, my friend Sean's going to be a Chick Fil A. I'm going to be a part of the kissing. Nice. Uh, and for any of the girls that might be listening right now, I'm really not gay, so send me your tits, and I'd like your blowjobs. Wow. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. Business taken care of. You want to talk about business at the top of the show? That's business right there. You I put need their tits on the website or what? Uh, you know what? That'd be great. You can. You know, the, our number is eight zero five. 419-3679. Can you call and talk to us on the air? You can also call and leave voicemails, and you can text us. So, ladies, if you have titty pictures to text us, we'll gladly accept. Right? Who doesn't like a nice little text of titty pictures? Yeah, but uh, preferably not little, if you know what I mean there. Right. Yes. But, yes, titties, nonetheless, we'll take them big, small, all, real, fake. We don't care. Right. Not at all. That leads me into my next subject, chick of the day today okay. is not one girl – but it's a group called Hot Girls in Yoga Pants. You can find them on Facebook, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a bunch of hot chicks with great asses wearing yoga pants, which are, you know, super tight. It's it's nice. Is that this, the, the whole Facebook page is, is all that? Yeah, Facebook.com slash all one word, Hot Girls in Yoga Pants. I think that you can also find them at uh, HGIYP.com, and they're also on Twitter. Um, it's it's not, a, not a bad thing to check out if you're into the ladies. Which I know you're not, but you know. I, I hear you typing. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, hot girls in yoga pants. Let me see. <laughs> just, just the whole thing is just an ass, right? And just, as soon yeah, as you just, click on. Just great asses in yoga That's pants. Classic. Yeah, you like that? Like, I wonder who took the asses picture. I don't know. I think they get submissions as well as taking. and so. Oh, I see. That's yeah, nice yeah. thongs on there. Yeah, yeah. Not a bad site to check out when you're bored. Jeez, that's a big old rump right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got a little side boob on one of them. That's yeah, nice. I like side boob. Hey, who doesn't? <laughs> side boob. Side boob. Vagina boob. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. And then, uh, well, San Diego Johnny jerks off to little hot girls in yoga pants. We'll play a little voicemail action for you. Six. Hey, everybody. This is Rebound from the Charity Strike. 
Yeah, that's Trig and Mike. Yo! We're not here right now, and there's a good chance we're off at a Justin Bieber concert. So make sure to leave a message, and uh, maybe we'll play it on the air. Bye bye. What's up, bitches? Midlife here. Sorry I can't be on the show today, but I heard it was gay kissing day at uh, Chick fil A, so I'm going to head down there and see if I can get lucky. Have a good show. Later, bitches. Hey, fellas, it's Rainbow Rico. Just want to say happy Friday, and I was really hoping you guys might be coming down to the Chick-fil-A today. Anyways, if you are, let me know, and we'll make it more of a suck-in than a kissin'. All right? Bye, guys! Wow, there seems to be a theme going with these voicemails. Uh, was that Trigger Mike playing a character there? Is that No, that's Rainbow Rico. Was that an actual person? That's not like you or Trigger Mike actually trying to pretend like you have listeners? Don't break the fourth wall here, sir. Oh, sorry. Whoops. It's totally a real person. I got gotcha. you. But it was not Trigger Mike. Oh. He's not that creative. Come on. That's right. Well, you know, I figured both of you guys used to do backyard wrestling, so you guys would be <laughs> a cool character. Hey, you would have if you could have. <laughs> uh, probably not. Oh, come on. Well, you know. Are you still checking out Hot Girls in Yoga Pants? No, no, I'm, I'm done with that now. Oh, it was just it got old after about a minute or so. You only needed about thirty seven seconds of it. Yeah, well, that's twice, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know how you feel. Well, on that yep. note, let's uh, let's play some Olympic music here. <laughs> Oh, I feel so official when that plays. Wow. This is getting up like professional show. We got fucking music and everything. Yeah, it's totally uh, not copyright stolen or anything like that. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, so in Olympic news, U.S. men's basketball barely slips by Nigeria, beats them 156-73. to 73. That's, That's a close one. Yeah, that was close. It's an 83-point deficit. All kinds of records were set, uh, you know. The total they won by was a record. Mello scored the biggest points in Olympic history. Uh, most that threes was made. Or something? Yeah. Uh, and he only played for like 14 minutes or something like that. Oh, really? It was pretty insane. It was just an ass kicking. Yeah. Um, and then Charles Barkley was asked about it. And he said, that's probably how many points they'd beat, it, beat the 92 team by if we played today. Exactly. Well, that stupid 92 team comparison that's going on right now. I'm pretty sure that team would blow anybody out of the water today. Yeah, I mean, if, if they were all still the same, you know, if right. it was still 92 and, and right. these guys could play them. Yeah, come yeah. on. It's all about the 92 team, obviously. Yeah. Don't uh, don't be stupid, guys. Yeah. Magic and Bird, come on. Come on, right? And then you got Jordan. I mean, what, what more do you need? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they could have gotten rid of Pippen. I'd have been okay with that. But Well, he was there for defense, so. Had to be there for something. Right. Um, and they were also talking to Coach K about, how bad they slaughtered him and asked him, you know, maybe you guys should let, you know, letting up on him a little bit. And I agree with him. He said, no, I don't, I don't think the other coach would have won that either. It would have been just as embarrassing. Right. So, you know, it's just, we have a good team and they don't. Right. Uh, it's just they're, part of the game. Nigeria, we're the USA. I mean, what, what more do you want? Right. And it's going to get a lot closer when we start playing people like <laughs> Spain and China. I mean, Nigeria, they probably have a uh, play with like flat basketballs and actually put them in actual baskets. <laughs> yeah. They no. just have wicker baskets oh, hanging up on the yeah. wall. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, not a big deal. Just because they won by a lot doesn't mean we should stop playing. Stupid. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, also, Wu. Wu. Ming. Woo! <laughs> Wu Mingxia. I don't know if that's right or not. Uh, she's a, a Chinese Olympian. She just found out that her grandma died a year ago and that her mom has been battling breast cancer for the past few years. Um, apparently, as we all know, the Chinese Olympic, I guess, team or squad or whatever, they, they picked these people out at a young age. She started training. She was a diver or is a diver to be a diver at six. They took her at 10 and moved her into a government facility. And uh, she really hasn't seen her parents since. She talks to them every now and then. And every time she talked to them, they would just have to play off like nothing was wrong so that her uh, Olympic time or training, I should say, wouldn't be interfered with. And she's just finding out that all this has been going on in the past years because her parents went to London to watch her uh, compete. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up, huh? Yeah, it is pretty fucked up. Way to go, China. You're yeah, right. way, to, way to just ruin everyone's fucking life. Yeah. You guys or are a sport. Bunch of cocksuckers. Right. I mean, to, to not let people live their life, to fucking just dive off a fucking diving board. Right. I mean, right. come on. What the fuck's going on in this world? <laughs> exactly. It's, it's fucking ridiculous and completely wrong. <laughs> Um, but then again, they're winning so many gold medals that I'm sure it won't be stopped anytime soon. 
True, but I mean uh, that's more. They're winning more in what? I don't even know what they're fucking winning in. But gymnastics, probably fucking no. no. I think this year they're horrible in gymnastics. Yeah, they're not doing too well in gymnastics. Yeah. Um, we were they were beating us in the gold count, and now we're beating them. Last I looked. Yeah, America. Fuck yeah. So, oh. a little patriotism for you there. There you go. Wow, I think Skype didn't like us yelling. Fuck Skype. Yeah, it like, it like turned everything down for a second. Awesome. Yeah, bitches. Um, yeah, so anyway, so that's going on, um, and I'm pulling up the medal count as we speak. The U.S. has 21 medals, or gold medals, 42 overall, and China has 20 gold and also have 42 overall. Oh. So well, we're tied with be- total, but we're beating them in gold. Yeah, that's right. Suck on that. that matters. Yeah. Suck it, bitches. I love gold. <laughs> I love gold. Um, other Olympic news: A boxing referee was expelled from the Olympics. What did uh, he do? Well, it was a controversial decision. Uh, let me see if I can pronounce this name: Ishangule Merentsneyazavov. It's close wow. enough. Yeah, my name is Borat. <laughs> not uh, not, not going to work here anymore. Yeah, exactly. He's uh, of Turkmenistan. He was sanctioned for failing to stop a bout in which a fighter from Azerbaijan, I don't know where that is, was wow. knocked to the ground. Yeah. That's right next to Borat land. Oh, yeah. Great success. Yes. Uh, he was knocked down to the ground six times in one round. Wow. Um, remarkably, the fighter Mogaba Mohamed Ablizhmedibadov was awarded the round on the judges' scorecards and won a 22-17 to 17 decision against Japanese boxer Satoshi Shimizu. Uh, isn't it bad when the Japanese name is easier to uh, pronounce? It is. There's something wrong with that. Um, that ruling was overturned Wednesday night after a Japanese appeal. Uh, international boxing officials ruled that the referee should have counted three of the knockout, knockdowns and stopped the fight. And apparently that, apparently that country, who I'm not going to even try and pronounce their name anymore, got caught trying to pay officials previously to win medals for boxing. So oh, that's so good times right there. It is good times. So uh, way to go, assholes. Yeah. Just okay. douchebags all around the world. I agree. I agree. That's what you get when you bring people into one spot from different countries. You get, the, you you get the douches. The douches. Yes. Uh, also, now this is a great story. This This might need a little background music to accompany it. Um, International Pole Sports Federation... Wants pole dancing to be in the Olympics. Come on. What, again, what the fuck's going on in this world where this is like going to be a sport, pole dancing? Well, I, I mean, mean, really, do we think it's going to be? You never know with these nowadays. I mean, yeah. Oh, you got some music going on there? Yeah. yeah. A little, a little warrant. Oh, wow. I figure this goes well with pole dancing. Like can, I'm playing, you can play that music right now, and, uh, and I can go back to the uh, chicks and yoga pants page. Oh, and that's perfect. Relive a fantasy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I don't know international pole dancing in the Olympics. I don't know about that, but I definitely wouldn't mind watching it. Yeah, it'd be something to watch. But uh, yeah, definitely. I think, I think even after a while, like it would get old, like because everyone would be doing the same thing. Like, how much can you really do on a pole? Really, and and how many countries would compete in that? Right. Like two. Right. Maybe, maybe a few European countries and us. Maybe Brazil. I don't know. Uh, I'd, I'd like to see that. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like football going to the Olympics. No one's going to do football in the Olympics because we're the only country that's good at it. I think uh, Mexico would join only if they can involve donkeys in it. So. <laughs> yes. Uh, donkey show Olympics. Right. That'd be awesome. It would be. Oh, man. And I think people would watch. I think people would really watch if donkeys were involved. Probably. I mean, people go to TJ to see that shit. All right. So why wouldn't they come to the Olympics to see it? I uh, love America and sick bastards. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, apparently I accidentally skipped over a story. There's four yeah. badminton teams that were expelled uh, from the Olympics for throwing their games. Two of them from, were from China, uh, India, and then a Korean team. Apparently, once you uh, make it into whatever round in badminton, it's a double elimination. And if you lose, then you're placed in an easier position in the following round. So they were caught throwing their games so that they have an, a better placing in the next round after that. I mean, how shitty do you have to be to throw a badminton game? I mean, it sounds like that game's really that fucking hard. Right. Well, I, I, guess mean, that's, that's, I guess that's why they caught them, because there's a few teams who are just, you know, they fucking annihilate everybody. I mean, you got to watch out for the flying shuttlecocks. Yeah. Hey, when Look, those shuttlecocks yeah, shuttle hit cocks. you in the face. Right. Uh, watch yeah. out for those. Yeah, it's stupid. Right. Um, one of the Chinese girls that was banned... 
has now retired from it because she was so embarrassed and blah, blah, blah. I mean, is that something you're proud of, being a a retired badminton player? Right. I don't even know why badminton's in the Olympics. Right. Speaking of which, golf will be in the Olympics next time. See, like, why? Like, what? Yeah. We're getting getting too many ridiculous sports. Like, just, you know, stick with the basics. Like a shot put. You know, fucking huge guys throwing cannonballs around. That's awesome. Right. Golf is not really a sport. No. It's a it's a fantastic and skilled hobby, right? So you get paid a lot of money for it. Right? Yeah, too much money thanks to yeah. Tiger. But yeah, that's ridiculous. That's all. You got to pay for his bitches somehow. That's true. That is very true. So that's all the uh, Olympic sports news that I have. Ah, oh, that's good. I think that's cool. Time, what I think else we got? I think it's time for a little basketball action. Oh. See, so professional. How about you? Do you got to get intro music for each little segment now? Fuck yeah. yeah. See, you would know if you listen to the show. Well, see, I, I don't listen to the show because it's a piece of shit. So, oh, man, yeah. that's that's fucked up. I only I only do this because you guys pay me a million dollars a day. It's true. It's when, when I'm take off all the show. So. Yeah, dick. Um, well, basketball news, CJ Lee has agreed to a two-year deal with the Cavs. Who's that? I don't even know who that is. Nobody knows who that is. I mean, that's why basketball news, like, eh. Yeah. It was one of those things that I had to report on because it's a big sport, but there's really nothing going on in basketball right now. People trying to sign deals get more more money. Yes. This one's slightly more interesting. The Knicks have signed J.R. Smith's little brother, Chris Smith. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I can't wait. Those guys will be happy to play together. Right. Yeah, they signed somebody who didn't get drafted. That's a great yeah. idea. The Suns have signed P.J. Tucker to a two-year Oh, my God. Draft. He yeah. is great. P.J. Tucker, who was drafted in 04 by the Raptors and since then has played internationally. Oh, it's a huge steal. Yeah, huge he, steal. he must be great. Right. Mm. Sorry, I was taking a drink of my beer there. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes. Um, By- I like this one. Bynum's agent has been talking with the Lakers, and everyone assumed they were talking extension. Apparently not. No? Well, why are they talking then? Uh, my guess is they're trying to talk trade situation. Oh. Nobody re- will reveal the details, but uh, I'm glad to hear that it's not about an extension. Still, try- still trying to get Howard, are you? I guess so. I don't know who I want more now because they're both bitches. I'm, go with Bynum. He's still he's gonna be one of the best centers in the league. I'm telling you, you're gonna, get, you're gonna get rid of him. And then fucking three years from now, like, oh, why did we get rid of him? That could be the case. But if we did get, you know, Howard for now, he is the best, and he'll continue to be really good. Where I, know, there's, I mean, you know, in our lovely fantasy leagues that we play in, you you've had him twice now. And one year he was a total bitch, and this year he's kind of half a bitch because he hurt his back. Yeah, I didn't have him this year, but yeah, I had him twice. One year he was my number one pick, and it was the best pick I ever made. And the next year, I got him, and it was like nothing. Yeah, like he scores 10 points a game. Like yeah. If you're traded, that good and big, like you should not fucking score 10 points a game. Yeah, that year I traded him away for uh, Nowitzki, which was the same year the Mavs won the championship. Yeah. That was a great fucking trade. There you go. Yeah, because the thing was, I didn't need the rebounding. I had a lot of rebounding going on from other players. So yeah. um, I can't believe we're talking fantasy basketball on here. Yay. 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 We have lives. Yay. <laughs> no one else plays with us. No. Uh, and speaking of Lakers, they're apparently, now I like this, are interested in uh, Leandro Barbosa. Yeah, that's a good three-pointer for you guys. Yeah, get us a little depth in the backcourt off the bench. Yeah. I like it. Plus, he's played with Nash, and they played really well together. So, yeah. That could be a good pickup. Hopefully, we yeah. hopefully we get him. Could be. Yeah. You, don't have any clip, you don't have any Clipper news on here? Is there any Clipper news? I don't know. Or did you guys talk about that in the last couple shows? Um, we might have. Do you have anything specific? No. Oh, okay. I, just, I didn't. I didn't see any real Clipper news. So. You're, you're the host of the fucking show. I figured you'd have all your shit ready. Oh no, that was so wrong of you to think that. Okay, well, I'll now I... you. No, there's there's really not a lot of Clipper news going on. Um, the the latest news, which we reported on weeks ago, was that you know, uh, Blake Griffin hurt himself. Right. That's right. the only thing I've heard. Yeah, he'll he'll be better. Yeah. So at least he'll be rested for the season. Yes, which is more important. Yeah, especially for you guys. You Clipper fans. That's right. Um, Ricky Rubio, who we all know tore his, I believe, MCL and ACL? No. Yeah, one of those. ACL and LCL is what it was. It was yeah. it was uh, Fatty that tore his a- MCL and ACL. Mm. Yes. Anyways, he is ahead of schedule and expected to be at training camp before the season starts. <sighs> Thank fuck. Yeah, right? And the Blazers are still searching for a coach. And I love their options because their two options are Terry Stotts, 
who has coached uh, the Bucks and some other teams and has never had a winning season. So great option there. I've never heard of that guy before. Yeah, I never had her either But uh, before I read the story. But he's never had a winning season before. And Caleb Canales, who used to be their video coordinator and kind of worked his way up as an assistant. That's so, great. Yeah, man, you guys have some great fucking options on the table. Damn, Blazers should be good in the next couple of years, huh? Yeah, I can't wait to see how this turns around. Awesome. Yeah, that's... Uh, we sign up, let me sign up for some season tickets. I know. Why, why don't we just move up to Portland? Yeah. That's, that's apparently where the basketball is going to happen. They got good beer up there. Mm. So I've heard, actually. Never been. I think you should get up there. I should. I want to get up there and drink some beer. Let's drink beers. Yeah. Speaking of beers, uh, I need a beer refill. So I think oh. we should take a break. All right. Is that okay with you? Please. The sooner the show's over, the fucking better. <laughs> In that case, make sure you check us out at thecharitystrike.com on Facebook, facebook.com slash thecharitystrike. On Twitter, at the charity strict, no E at the end. We were drunk when we signed up. Jackasses. Yeah, I know, right? Well, somebody that used to be on the show did it for us. Well, that's your main problem right there. Yeah, that was that was the big problem. And then uh, make sure and call us, 805-419-3679. That's the number to call. We will be right back, everybody. Hi, I'm Jared. I'm Tony. I'm Brandon. You're supposed to repeat after me. <laughs> <laughs> We're from the 70s. We're from the 70s. Hope nope, we got to start over. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jared. I'm, I'm Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, okay. <laughs> repeat everything but his name. But Uh-oh. your name. Okay. The names Not literally. Name. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Jared. I'm Brandon. I'm Tony. <laughs> We're from the 76th Street Podcast. Blow it up. Blow it up. We didn't have to tell you that because we're You already know. Up. You've heard us before. You already know. You've told your friends. You've liked our fan page. You've probably been to our website. Several Street, times. 76streetpod.com where you've yeah. subscribed to our podcast yeah. on iTunes. Hey, this is more like a you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> if you get a chance. <laughs> if you get a chance. Let the couple of friends that haven't heard about it. Just let a them couple. know. You're welcome. Tell all your friends. Subscribe to our Twitter feed. Subscribe to our podcast. And don't worry. There's going to be 30% less Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> And if you go to 76streetpod.com, there is no Brandon. <laughs> Thank God. Oh. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> and there it is. And there you have it. <sighs> hey everybody, welcome back into the charity strike. Still great through Ben Jones, still on Skype with the angry as always San Diego Johnny. Fuck your mothers. Yeah, exactly. That was pretty gangsta of you. Well, you know, I try to try to throw down here once in a while. Yeah, that was good. I like it. Yeah. Um, breaking news. Uh, Mayweather was released from jail last night. This is definitely breaking news. Not stupid at all. No. And uh, among the crowd of 20 that were there to greet him as he got out of jail, 50 Cent was there to pick him up. Oh. Yeah, his buddy 50 Cent. He's probably like, oh, I was, I was here. I know, I know where you are. I'll come pick you up. Yeah, I know how to get there. Yeah. Yeah, been there many times. That's great. Yeah, so that was uh, quite retarded. And he did not look too uh, famished as they were saying the, the jail food was going to, you know, right. make him out of shape and all that stuff. Well, he looked just fine. Yeah, So I'm sure uh, he was in a nice little secure area where he got plenty of food. Yeah, I'm, I'm it's sure. It's called Mike or Mayweather, Money Mayweather. Yes. Sorry. So I'm sure he had some money, paid off the guards. Hey, you know, give me a fucking lobster, you know? Right. Yeah, some people sneak drugs in their ass, and he probably had lobsters in his ass. There you go. I just have crabs. Hey, <laughs> ooh. So, anyways, uh, on to some baseball news. I think you're going to like this little intro. Now, there's lots of teams throughout this land, but I'm proud to be a Cubby fan. Believe me, 84 was just the start. We're going to bring a pennant to this part. Hey, I'm a Cub fan. I'm a Cub fan. Man. Holy cow. We'll win the series before we oh, that's so good. That was good times right there. Yeah, Harry, 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 Harry Carey. Carey. Yeah. Have you heard Ryan Dempster's Harry Carey impression? <clears throat> I have. That was pretty funny. They were pretty fucking amazing. Yeah, it was pretty good. I, I'd say it's better than uh, Will Ferrell. It is pretty good, yeah. He did, he did a couple of them. Did you see them all? Yeah, I've seen at least yeah. uh, two or three of them. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, very impressed. Um, anyways, baseball news. Cliff Lee has been placed on trade waivers. Yeah. Interesting. Nobody's interested in them, though. Well, they all uh, a lot of a lot of teams uh, do that on everybody just to. It's it's something they do every year. That all, all every big star gets kind of put on trade waivers just for 
it's I can't remember what the reason is, but you can look it up. I and mean, it's something they just do to. I think it's kind of to see if anybody bites, right? I guess, yeah. And then, and then if there is a trade, he's already been waived, right? And all that good stuff. Yeah, but every team places like pretty much your whole roster on the trade waivers. So mm. this well, is one of those weird, uh, un, unwritten baseball rules, I guess. Right, and they have they have plenty of those weird rules. Yeah. So um, you'll like this one, Eddie Rodriguez. Uh, yeah. Homer's his first at bat with the Padres. Yeah, look at this Padre news on here on the yeah. old charity strick. Just for you on the charity strick. Yeah, no Padres. Yeah, fourth go place, maybe fourth place. Yeah, You're still in fourth. You haven't gone back still down to fourth, fifth yet. I think we're about eleven games out of first place. You know, up and coming. You were like <laughs> 15, 16, So look at that. You know, oh, game, man, you, four games. Yeah, playoffs in sight. Playoffs. Yes. All wow. Right. Um, I'll pull up those stats for us just momentarily. Yeah, Rodriguez, he was called up because uh, our other catcher, uh, who's been playing great for us, Grand Randall, he uh, pulled a little ribcage muscle, so I put him on the DL. This guy comes up, just keeps keeps going in place. Yeah, and I think it's like the second Padre to ever do that, right? Home Get a home run in the first at bat? Yeah. That's quite possible. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. I guess I could have looked that up since I have a sports show. Well, you know. But I chose not to. It's probably not much pottery history on their website anyway. Yeah, <laughs> on anybody's website. Right. Um, the Orioles outfielder Lou Ford gets his first hit in five years. Oh, man, that's great. Have you heard of this guy? Uh, I have not. Oh, anyways, he used to be in the majors, and then uh, he left. Well, you know, he got released, and he played minor league for a while, and then he you know, started playing some independent leagues. Like, he just he had injuries and, and some, you know, life issues and just took a big dump, basically. Wow. And uh, he was back in the minors this season, and he got the call in the Orioles, and he uh, got his uh, fifth or his first hit in five years. His hit number, I think, four thir- four thirteen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, well, look at that. Yeah. See? Live your dream, everybody. Live your dream. You yeah. Can, you can achieve dreams. Yeah. Don't give up. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna puke now. And breaking news: Lou Ford gets released today. <laughs> 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 I don't know if that happened. Or no, but it probably will. That'd be uh, hilarious. But. Yeah. Whoever's replacing, I'm sure once he comes back, Lou Ford's right. going back down. Right. So, uh, congratulations, Lou Ford. Delman Young is hey, trying. Your buddy. Yeah, my 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 bestie, Delman Young, trying to reach a deal with prosecutors for his uh, hate crime in yeah. New York. Like a black hate crime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's pretty it's rare not, when a black guy it. gets charged with a hate crime. Right. Unheard of. Yeah. Apparently, he hates the Jews. What's going on in this fucking world? I know. Well, he's a douche. I know that personally. <laughs> not that I went to school with him or anything. Oh no no no. Douche. Uh, is he is your age? Yeah, yeah, same class. Oh, nice. Um, he, in fact, just to show you how big of a douche he was, he was friends with uh, somebody that used to be on this show. Oh wow! So douches hang together. They do. They all they're all they all fit in one bag, as they say. <laughs> yes, they certainly fit together. It was quite romantic. Yes. So yeah, so he's trying to uh, trying to uh, strike a deal. His next court date is after. The uh, World Series. Not that it matters because they won't be seeing that. I don't know. The Tigers are, are close. They're in second place. They're only like two, three games out. Well, I'm rooting against them. Oh, okay. So there's that for oh. you. Also, Cal Ripken. This is weird. Cal Ripken's mom was kidnapped last week. Uh, and they found her unharmed. And now they're trying to find the guy who kidnapped her. Oh, that's great. It's very strange. It is weird. Why would you Cal kidnap his mom? He hasn't even played in like five, six years. Yeah, it's not like he's really in the news. Right. He's just on some random like old man vitamin commercials. Obsessed fan. Yeah, it's really strange. So now they're trying to find the guy. Uh, I like. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I said that's great. Yeah, I like this story. Uh, MLB. Certain clubs from the MLB got their Facebooks hacked this week. Nice. Yeah, this is great. I have I've got examples from a bunch of different teams. Uh, one of them was the Yankees, and they posted on the Yankees Facebook that Derek Jeter would g- undergo sex change surgery. Nice. And they quoted, he promises to come back stronger than ever in 213 as Mini Mantles. As who? Mini Mantles. That's apparently the name he's going to change himself to. Vinny Mantles. Mini, like Mini Mouse. Oh, I got Mini Mantles. Yeah. So, I wonder what that means. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so that's awesome that they say he's going to have a sex change surgery. Good times. Um, the Miami Marlins page falsely announced a pit bull giveaway because that animal is banned in Miami Dade County. Awesome. Yes. Chicago White Sox, who we all know is uh, President Obama's favorite team. Uh, they endorsed Republican candidate Mitt Romney. Good times. Yes, yes. The Washington Nationals page said the team uh, would be moving back to Canada. <laughs> Great. Yeah. 
Um, there was also some fake posts on uh, the see the Giants page, the Cubs page, the Padres page. Yeah, so they didn't give those specifics, but uh, uh, that's pretty funny. Yeah, it was good times. A little, yeah. little humor on the old uh, interweb world. Exactly. Yes, yeah. these hackers definitely had a sense of humor, so I like it. Yeah. Good times. No one was harmed. I I especially like the uh, sex change one. Yeah. So, Speaking of sex change, yeah. Did you hear- uh, on a side note, oh yeah, Ooh, wow. one of the uh, Wachowski brothers, the guys who did uh, the Matrix, mm-hmm. he uh, had a sex change. And really? Now, yeah, is now Lana Wachowski. No way. Yeah, that's we all about it on the interwebs. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, not normal. No, now I'm back to sports. Yeah, <laughs> back to other balls. Um, oh, I was gonna run down the uh, the baseball standings real quick, so we sure can, let's we do can, it. We could eventually see how bad the Padres were doing. Yeah. Uh, AL East, Yankees still on top, followed by the Orioles, the Blue Rays, the Blue Rays, the Blue Tampa Rays. Bay Rays, <laughs> <laughs> not the Blue Rays. Wow. Uh, the Red Sox and the Blue Jays. Uh, there you go. AL Central, we've got the White Sox, and then the Tigers are behind them by two and a half games, as we we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. And then uh, the Indians, the Twins, and the Royals. AL West, no shock here. The Rangers are on top, uh, then followed by the A's, the Angels, and the Mariners. The A's and the Angels are only a half game off of each other. Oh, it's going to be a tight race. Yeah, it's going to be a tight race for a second there. And Mike Trout on the Angels. That kid is unfucking believable. Yeah, rookie too. And uh, have you seen his stats? This kid, no, this kid could be a 40-40. Really? He's rookie, yeah. He's got already got 20 home runs. He's already got 30-some stolen bases. He's going to make Kemp look like a bitch. He's leading the league in uh, batting average. Jesus. And he missed. He didn't cut, got called up till June. Right. I mean, he got called up late. Yeah. I mean, fucking hey, this kid is like fucking, what the fuck's his name in the in the, in the, in the natural? Roy Hobbs. Oh. That's fucking Roy Hobbs right there. Roy? People that watch baseball movies. Uh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Have you ever seen know. The Natural? No. Christ. Watch a fucking movie every once in a while. <laughs> I'm looking up, uh, I'm trying to find his stats right now. Oh, for Mike Trout? Yeah. He's, um... Let's see. Yeah, how many runs? He has 83 runs scored. Yeah. 117 hits. Yeah. Nice. Pretty amazing. Yeah, he's got uh, 18 home runs, 55 RBIs. Yeah. 33 stolen bases. Uh huh. Not bad. Uh, he's batting at 3.47 right now. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty good. 33 stolen bases. Mm hmm. 55 RBIs. Did you say that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, so he's only got. Guys. 18 home runs, sorry. But still. Yeah. We got, uh, what is it? We're in, we're in August now. Yeah, that's that's in 83 games. Where last year he played 40 games. Right. And he only had, uh, was it like five home Yeah, right. five home runs. So We still got two months of the season. He could easily hit fucking 10 home runs each month. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, 40 40. I think he'll easily do 30 30, which is a great club to be in uh, in baseball anyway. 30 right, home, 30 stolen bases. Yeah, because he only has 12 more home runs for that. Right. And he's already hit or already gotten 30 stolen bases. Right. I mean, this kid could win Triple Crown, Rookie of the Year, MVP, all in one year. That'd be, like, unheard of. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I mean, he's a great player. Yeah. So there's that. Um, on to the national- I look, I look at all this knowledge just added to the show right now. I know. Now. Man, we got to get you on more often. Jesus. Ratings spike. I know. Here it is. Ratings, everybody. I'm watching them spike as we speak, even though we're not live. <coughs> what? Sorry. Uh, I can't, I can't I go wanna... live when we do Skype. It just doesn't work. Ah, uh, douche. A little technical knowledge. You can't apparently hook three computers up to each other. You get electrical hum. Oh. Yeah. And that's why I need to go live. I need, I need another computer to go live on. I see. I need one computer for Skype, one for the recording, and then one for uh, the, the live. Christ, what's wrong with you, computer Greg? Watch I know. Out. Should have four computers anyway. Well, I know the equipment I need. I just uh, I, I need to buy it in order to hook multiple computers up. Right. So, and it's weird. Uh, we don't make a lot of money on the show. In fact, we make none. What? I know. Shocking. Because we have Unheard so many of. listeners. Unheard of. I know. Uh, real quickly, the National League standings. The East. The Nationals are still on top. Amazing. Shocking. Twenty games over five hundred, which is pretty good. Yeah. They're uh, pulling a five nine six right now. They're almost at six hundred. Yeah. So, and I jokingly called for them to be on top of the division at the beginning of the, the season. Look at you. I know. It was a joke. Predictor. 
call you Nostradamus from now on. <laughs> exactly. That's me. Uh, followed behind them, only two and a half games behind, are the Braves, the Mets, the Marlins, and the Phillies. Yeah. Fuck like them. Uh, sorry? I said fuck them. Oh, yeah. They just dumped their whole team. Yeah. The Phillies. They suck anyway. Fuck those Phillies. I know. I was really hoping Dempster would come to the Dodgers. No, yeah. That would have been nice. Uh, Angel's got a green key. You better watch out. I know. Kind of Angel fan. Yeah. My dad likes him. Midlife. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, NL Central, the Reds are on top, followed by the Pirates, the Cardinals, the Brewers, the Cubs, and the Astros. And the only important division in the National League, the West. Yes, yes, the West. Uh, and unfortunately, the Giants are on top right now. That's true. But only a half game behind are the Dodgers. So that's good. It, yeah. Uh, then followed by the Diamondbacks, the Padres, and Ooh. then the Rockies. So congratulations. You are not in last place. Not in last place. Nor do we have the worst record in the league anymore. True. Which is amazing. Yeah. Good job. So, yeah. So proud see, of you guys. Me. World Series. Here we come. Let's see. Who does have the worst record? The old Houston Astros. Yep. The Astros. 35 and 71. Yeah. Nice. Because there's 29 and a half games out of first. Like, just fucking give up. <laughs> yeah. The like, Rockies just aren't. Just don't even play any more games. No. Just, like, like just kind of count them as a loss. Yeah. At this point, they're just hoping to get, like, fifth place. Right. That's ridiculous. I know. Man, they suck. They do. They've sucked for a long time. Yeah. They need to get a new people and in And they're moving to the American League next year. Good luck with that. Yeah. They're going to be fucked. Who else? Uh, who are they going to compete with in AL Central? The White Sox, the Tigers, the Indians, the Twins, the Royals? I think they're moving to uh, AL West because they only have four teams. Oh, then they're really fucked. Yeah. They're going to compete Gosh. with the Rangers and the Angels and the A's? Yeah. If they're lucky, they'll beat the Mariners, who are still doing better than them right now anyways. So. Right. Fuck you, Astros. Yeah. Anyways, I think it's time for some football news. All right. I got a football Fine. intro, too. Oh, do we? Are you excited for that? I am. Let's hear it. It's the sport of kings. Better than diamond and ring. That's why we're here to sing. Football. Gay, right? Nice. Nice Wildcats. That's a great yeah. movie. You know who that is? Singing? Yeah. I've seen that movie. Many I know, times. but do you, do you know who's singing? I don't know who's singing. That's now. LL Cool J. Is it? Yeah. He's not think, even in the movie. No, I guess he did the song. Wow. Like, do you think he's embarrassed by this song now? Because it is awful. No. That's, that's back in the day when rap was cool. Rap's still cool. Oh. What? <laughs> Anyways. Um... Football news, Penn State has lost their second player to a transfer. Oh. Kicking it, kicking her. Kicker, Anthony Farah, is head to uh, the University of Texas. Kicker. Kicker, yes. Anyone really cares about kickers? No. Apparently he's good, according to the reports. And he said part of the decision was his mom now has uh, multiple sclero- sclerosis. Uh-huh. So, and they live in Texas, so this way he's closer to his family. Oh, that's better. Mom. Yeah, that's, that's, that's precious. Yeah. But... Uh, Fuck you, Penn State. Yeah. It's only going to get worse from here. And then uh, before we start the next story, I got a, I got a hard cut songs here. Yep. This is our new Tebow song. Yes. This is Tebowie. Yeah. Nice. You heard this? I have. This is great. It is. Jimmy Fallon's hilarious. He's amazing. What a talent. Yeah. Not giving enough credit, especially his, his music's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, he should be hosting, like, Oscars and Emmys, all that shit. Probably be pretty good at that. He was awful in Saturday Night Live. He was he pretty was, good on Saturday Night Live. Some, some things stuff. were funny, but he laughed so much, I was like, dude. Right, because yeah, everything's just fucking ridiculous. Yeah, like him and Justin Timberlake were great. Yeah. So, the Barry Gibbs show. But anyways, Tim Tebow news. Apparently, he's dyslexic. What? Yep. Tim Tebow has sucks. dyslexia, yeah. And apparently, uh, his mom, you know, had him tested as a kid, and it's true. And he's trying to teach kids that it's not a handicap, but can actually help you out in life. He still has it now. Yeah, you don't. You don't ever get rid of dyslexia. You just kind of learn to yeah, deal with it. Yeah, I mean, there's there's ways to help correct how you can't fucking so you can read things straight. Right. I mean, and he's you know he's gone through steps to uh, be able to right. read. Right. But he's saying it's not a handicap. It's uh you know it helps you in life. I don't know how it helps you in life. I mean, I obviously, it's a handicap. Have you seen him play football? Yeah. I can't fucking do anything. I'd say apparently it affects your throwing. He can run, but he can't throw. Yeah. So, so I mean, that's his problem. He's reading all the plays backwards, and <laughs> receivers are on the other side where he's supposed to be, and he's throwing the interceptions. That, that's a possibility. He says it does not hinder his uh, reading of the playbooks. Huh? Apparently, that's a lie. Yeah. He should use that as an excuse because uh, he sucks. Yeah. Horrible quarterback, Tim Tebow. Go run something. 
the tunnels. Yeah. Anyways, the Browns have sold the team again to uh, now this time Jimmy Haslam the third, who is a truck stop bigwig and also a minority owner of the Steelers. Nice. He's but no, he's not anymore since he bought the Browns. But. Did he have to give up his ownership? You do have to give up the ownership. So. Oh, that's too bad because they're big rivals, aren't they? Uh, yeah, they're in the same division. Yeah, so that'd be funny if he owned a little bit of both. Right. But anyways, uh, one billion dollars was the sale price. Man, that's crazy. Does he realize it's the Cleveland Browns? Still, it's a, it's a good history over there in Cleveland. Yeah, like they got ran out of town and then came back and. No, the uh, well, not the ran out of town, but they did run out of town. Yeah, the owner just ran out of town. Art Modell. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. The Ravens, they're they're from the Browns. Yes. Oh, more Tim yeah. Tebow music coming on here. Oh. Yeah, we'll just let it all play through. I love Tebow music. I was a big Browns fan back in the late 80s. Were you? Good teams. Yeah, I like to help the Browns get to the Super Bowl. Yeah, Bernie Kosar. Mm-hmm. And did you say Browns to the Super Bowl? Yeah, uh, I like to help the Browns get to the Super Bowl. I see. Does that mean you have to take a big, gigantic shit? Yes. I see. That's exactly what that means. Oh, good thing the show's almost over then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no one's all listening right. anyways. They're all taking numps. Right. So... Um, Saints will play the Cardinals in the what home. If got a, what if you were taking a nump and you got a blumpkin at the same time? Well, you know, I was talking. I guess I should explain what a nump is to everybody. Uh, it's where you take a nap and a dump at the same time. And I was explaining this to uh, Trigger Mike the other day, and he says, I think the perfect wake up from a nump would be a San Diego thank you. Oh. I was like, That's a good call. There you go. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's when you get a kiss while you're taking a dump. Right? Who, so. doesn't, like, who doesn't enjoy one of those? Yeah. Do you hand out San Diego thank yous? Um, Being San no. Diego Johnny, I have never never given a San Diego thank you before. No, it's too bad. Yeah, that's a shame. I can, I can, try, I can try it on you next time I see you. <laughs> yeah, I'll be down there uh, next week. Yeah, give each other some San Diego thank yous. Yeah, that'd be great. No Blumpkins though. No, no, no. I, I've retired my Blumpkin career. Huh. It's, it's a shame. People are disappointed. I know. All those trannies are disappointed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the trannies and the uh, Hermes. Right. So. Uh, back to football. <laughs> back to football. <laughs> uh, the Saints will play the Cardinals in the Hall of Fame game that's coming up, but there will be re- uh, replacement referees in place uh, since they're still in contract dispute with the normal referees. Yeah, it's great that football is back. Got a nice little game on Sunday, but uh, no one gives a shit because it's a preseason game, and yep. no one really gives a shit about the refs either. So Yeah, and uh, you know the Saints are missing a ton of players <laughs> right. and coaches and all those people. You'll so. see uh, the starters for the Saints play like two plays, and then you'll see uh, third stringers the rest of the game. Yeah, pretty much. You'll see Breeze for about three minutes. Yeah. So, um, awesome. People are worried because the replacement refs, they're afraid that they're not uh, as up to date on catching things such as like player safety issues. Mm. So they're worried about that kind of stuff more than the, the missed you know play calls. Regular refs, yeah. Right. Well, you know, I'm sure they're going to miss some calls because they're not the regulars, but they're more worried about player safety than calling the game. Yeah, well, maybe we'll have some extra refs that were to watch over the player safety. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe some people up in the uh, boxes or something watch him. I'm sure the great our, uh, Mr. Modell, not Modell, but Roger, what the fuck's it? Goodell. Is it Modell? It's Goodell. Roger Goodell. Goodell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodell. Same difference. Yeah. I'm sure he'll have some great plan that will improve player safety because that's all he's concerned about. Yes, the almighty Roger Goodell. Rather than making money. Yeah, exactly. Though he might have put a hit out on uh, Drew Brees himself after his comments this week. Nice. So. Yeah, that was good comments. Yeah. I liked him. Yeah. I agreed 100%. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, exactly. I, I feel I mean, the same they, way. They've already come out and said the NFL is a business. I mean, honestly. Right. It, yeah, they've, yeah, he's an idiot. That's what it really comes down to. I mean, basically, it's like he, he cares so much about player safety, yet he wants to extend the season to 18 games instead of 16. Right. That's not player safety. Yeah. No. So that's more money. Yeah, he's a jackass. Okay. Uh, I'm sure lots of people would like to see it be a longer season, but that that is contradictory to your uh, previous comments. That's true. So asshole, Roger. Douche. Yeah. Also, the Saints uh, cornerback Jabari Green, Jabroni Greer, uh, to have surgery on a pulled groin. That sucks. Oof. So he's out of action on the field and the bed, ladies. Or pulled guy. groin. Yeah, that hurts. Pulled groin. Yeah. Uh, punter Tim Maste signs a four-year deal with the Packers. Oh, fine. That's the pe- final piece of the puzzle right there. Yep, they are saved. So, congratulations. Free agent uh, safety Jim Lion- or Lionheart. <laughs> 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 wow. I can't read today. Uh. Anyways, uh, multiple visits with the Bills. They'll probably be signing him soon. Uh, and the Panthers. Now, poor Jeff Ota. He was traded to the Jets. 
didn't pass the physical, and then they sent him back to the Panthers. Well, now the Panthers have terminated his contract. Yeah. Sucks. Done. See yep. you later. You're done, skis. All right. Quit eating fucking 12 large pizzas. Yeah. <laughs> and pass your physical. Exactly. And uh, stop hurting yourself. Yeah. And then speaking of Goodell, he plans to punish Lions uh, Nick Fairley. Sorry, I had a little brain fart there. Yeah. Lions Nick Fairley, who was arrested twice in two months for uh, DUIs and such. Right? Yeah. The Lions are just in all kinds of legal trouble right now. Well, you got nothing to do in Detroit but drink and weigh your sorrows. Yeah. So. It, it's not like it's some really nice town, right? No. It's, it's a little rough. I mean, it's, it's a great town, but it's hard times over there. Hard times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he will uh, most likely be missing some games this season. Goodell said he's also not going to wait for the official uh, charges to be handed down since he's a repeat offender. He doesn't really care. Uh-huh. He's just going to just throw it out. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have some other NFL news. I forget. We forgot oh, to talk about. breaking. Uh, we're not really breaking. It's, uh, I think it was two days ago. No, oh, close enough. Cromarty. Antonio Cromarty. Yes. Uh, the guy with many kids. Yes. He uh, apparently fancies himself as the second best wide receiver on the Jets. Oh. Even though he plays cornerback. Right. How does that so work? It's, uh, you know, that's pretty much slapping your teammates in the face saying, you guys suck. I don't even play that fucking position. I'm the best, second best receiver out there. What a dick. Yeah. I, I fancy his uh, most current girlfriend, the uh, second best wide receiver on the team. Oh, there you go. Yeah. She's I have not there. seen her. She. Uh, no, I don't, I'm just joking because oh, he has okay. all kinds of kids. That's true, yeah. 12. Like, yeah. Something like okay. that. Don't ask him when yeah. their birthdays are, though. No, no, no. That's amazing. Why would uh, Why would you say you're the second best receiver on the team? And I mean, that. And that's not even your position. Pretty much, pretty much giving away your team sucks at right receiver. Right. Oh, well, what a dick. Yeah. I wonder if they'll find him for it. Probably not. They should. Yeah, maybe. I feel like in basketball, if somebody said something like that, they'd be fined by the team. But, like, Good. football, that kind of shit gets away a lot easier. Yeah, it's man sport, football. I guess. Yeah. Big man. Sport. Talking smack. And naked in the locker room. All right. Hey, fellas. Showers. Yeah. So it's showers, guys. Mm, that's the best part. Oh, well. Any other football news for us? Um, I don't know. Nothing really. All right. Anything about your Chargers that I missed? Uh, they're the greatest team in the world. You're what you should root for them. <laughs> I didn't ask you to lie about your Chargers. Oh, no, no. I'm not. They're, they're one of the great and quit. One of the best underrated teams again this year. Hopefully, uh, we'll get off to a good start. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, Rivers will stop throwing interceptions. Yeah. Only, only, only one year he's, he had bad interceptions. That was last year. He'll turn around this year. So we hope. 50 touchdowns. So we hope. 50 yes. touchdowns. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't have Randy Moss on the team, so. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Well, that's all I got. That's it, huh? Yeah. We should end this so these people can get on with the rest of their lives. Well, I think they're pretty much done that as soon as they said, hey, welcome to the church. Yeah. <laughs> welcome in, click. All right. Yeah. Like, oh, this show again? Good yeah. Lord. Yeah. I don't know how we have so many subscribers as we do. I don't either. Three. How many, how many how many fans you got on the old Facebook page? Uh, 196. 196. How is that possible? I don't know. Um, I did pay some people to to click like. That's amazing. Yeah, here, five bucks if you like my page. But you're huge over in the European countries. Is that correct? Uh, well, my our our other page, Fat Fridays, is huge in the European area. Oh, it's um, massive. For some reason, you guys check out on Facebook Fat Fridays. Uh, we post fat things, but um. Yeah, the, the people in Europe and Australia love Fat Fridays. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you? Yeah. We do have some fans in Europe for the charity strike, though. Um, we are played on uh, Cornucopia Radio, which is an online radio station out of England. So shout out to you guys over there. Wow. The, the one person what, that likes What is this, it. local city radio you're on now? Our city radio. Our city radio? Yeah, our city radio is a uh, online also radio uh, network. They have different channels, you know, sports, uh, rap, rock, whatever. We're on their sports channel. You can check them out at OurCityRadio.com. And does it air at a certain time? Or? Yeah, we're on the if you check out the schedule under the uh, sports channel. We air uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays, the day after we normally air. Uh, uh-huh. I believe at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock Pacific time? It says Eastern, but it, uh, it also happens to air o'clock. 4 o'clock here. So I don't know if that really means that it's airing 4 here and 7 there or if it's airing 4 at, at both. Oh, I see. So I, I asked them, and they haven't clarified that with me. Maybe that's because they're going out of business. Yeah, I people, mean, uh, people don't like to email me back for some reason. What? People don't like to email me back for some reason. You mean, uh, I think that includes people who offer you jobs, right? Yeah, they don't like to email me back either. Yeah. 
I'm a dick. Nice. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, I guess we should end this train wreck. Thank fucking God. Yeah. God. It's over. Just jump out of the boat before it completely sinks. Jesus Christ. I feel like I just had a a fist in my ass for an hour. <laughs> I was going to say an abortion. Right. Yeah. Anyways, make sure you guys check us out at thecharitystrike.com. Uh, you can get new, old, and future shows there. Also, you can you can listen to uh, Mike and Mike's Super Punch Out while you're there. Make sure you click on the Amazon banner. It's at the bottom or on our Sponsors tab if you're going to buy something from Amazon. won't cost you anything extra, but uh, we get a couple of pennies that helps keep this life raft afloat in the tidal wave of shit, if you yeah, will. Again, you say tidal wave. It's really more like a tsunami. Excuse it's me. Tsunami, tsunami, tsunami of shit. Yeah. Yeah. I apologize oh. for messing that up again. Uh, also, Facebook.com slash The Charity Strike. Uh, you can get all our Facebook shit, pictures, and all that good stuff. Uh, Twitter, at The Charity Strike. No E at the end. Someone was drunk when they signed up. And uh, Yeah, really. Make sure you call us, 805-419-3679. Leave some voicemails. Uh, call us when we are on the air, all that good stuff. Uh, I think that's everything. The Charity Strike at Yahoo.com. I think that's all. That's it, huh? That's yeah. all the plugs? That's all the plugs. In love, but so that's amazing. Yeah. Well, thanks to San Diego Johnny for being a part of this abortion. Still hate your fucking show and go fuck off, everybody. Yeah. Fantastic. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.